Luke chapter 20 is all about people trying to catch Jesus out. We hear about chief priests and teachers of the law, Pharisees, Sadducees and elders, all having a go with trick questions and all failing, of course. But we shouldn't read this chapter and just admire Jesus' cleverness. There's a message in there to each of us in Jesus' responses. Take his response to the Sadducees, for example. There's this long ramble about seven brothers, each marrying the widow one at a time, as each one of them dies, and followed by the question of whose wife will she be when she dies and goes to heaven? Jesus responds by giving us a, an insight into heaven and what we really like. He tells us that we'll be all like angels. I think that he's telling us that we shouldn't think about heaven in earthly or human terms, but that it's an eternal place where there's no pain and no death. I haven't any idea really what heaven's going to be like, and I think it's not good to speculate too much, but just to trust God, knowing that it really will be truly wonderful. Towards the end of the chapter, Jesus warns us to beware of the teachers of the law and their long flowing robes and their elaborate prayers. When I read passages like this, I tend to think of those TV programmes, uh, things like the Borgias that was set back in Rome in the 15th century. And everything there was about power and money and family rivalry. And if I get even more righteous what I'd do with, and I think about recent scandals to do with priests and bishops and things like that. But actually, Jesus isn't telling us to judge the teachers of the law. He's just telling us to be aware of them. And when I read this passage this morning, I realised how quickly I can slip into judgment when I should be just being wary and alert. Going back to the Sadducees' question. Do we think of heaven in earthly terms rather than trusting God with the unknown? And are we too quick to slip from being aware to being judgmental? Thank you, Father that you love us so much that you sent Jesus for us. And thank you that you have promised us an eternity with you, with no pain, no suffering, and no death. Please help us to keep alert for those things that are not of you and to live lives worthy of being your children. Amen.